think we should be able to take off all the increment losses to my 40, <laughs> 30, 44. Because yes. I'm just looking at like all this stuff is destroyed. Yeah, a lot of stuff is damaged, but by the same stroke, the 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 by the same stroke, the Russians are in really bad shape. So are the Prussians. They're all pretty badly mauled. Oh, so, so yeah, yeah. So um, you you invite me to a game where I'm going to get just run over. Uh, I mean, this this is a this is a game where the a lot of stuff has suffered, and and. Um, and more is is going to be suffering as time goes by. Okay. How yeah. about the guard? How about the guard units that are all by the forty fourth? Who has command of that? So those are commanded by Gross, and so we'd have to give a command point specifically to him in order to have him move those guard units. So he's not okay. part of any. He's not part of any command. He's his own separate command. His own little. Yeah, his own little thing. So we would have, if we wanted to move him, we'd have to give a command point to him to do stuff. So and right, it's, uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's within six, because we were playing the other game for a while, so now it's within six of the for the uh, for the divisional commanders. They have to be within six of the core and commander. Then the units, the units have to be within four of the divisional commander. The, uh, okay. the units have to be within three. The 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 okay. the infantry Air. yeah oh you can give me one second sure uh, Maria's call okay Hold on one second. oh hello hi Tim yeah I'm I'm uh, playing a game with Eric but I think <laughs> I just started it's, it's a... well, hey guys right how now. are you yeah hello data analysis shows too many variables. It's your favorite. It's your favorite sound there, Albert. So I'm trying to. Parables. I'm trying to catch. Yeah, I'm trying to catch Robert up on what's going on. So does he know about the too many variables. He does. Well, yeah, we've been a... we've been playing uh, Ryzen for the last oh, month and a half, two months. So um, we've been playing Premiere. And so he's like, well, how, what's the range again? <laughs> it's like six hexes for this and three hexes for that. And so it's all kind of the stuff to kind of get him up to speed. So. Well, I guess that's what happened in my rising game. What happened to your rising yeah. game? Well, I was, I thought I was cruising. And, uh, uh, Charles, uh, Chaz Mataz or whatever. Uh, right. Uh, the guy from, that I'm playing, Charles Seguin. He killed Pondosky. Oh my gosh! He killed him. How did so, that happen? Uh, he, Just like a artillery shot or something? An art, artillery shot. Wow. Sixty-six. Wow. Sixty-six, and it was a headshot. So oh I my did. gosh! So, so now I'm in. Uh, I'm going to have to. I might end up with a draw. You know, wow. Because I don't know. Yeah. So anyway. I, I, well, I've got to, I've got to figure out, I've got to keep, you know, I've got to keep him away from rat, uh, rat but he's been, I was, I feel really good about it until that happened, obviously. Yeah, because, I mean, there's something there where you, if you kill one of his leaders, it's the same thing, right? Doesn't he have some sort of leader that, that... Yeah, uh, if I kill Ferdinand, I think it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, I don't think it's the same as, as uh, Piotrowski getting killed. But, I don't. I don't think it shifts at one level, but it does help. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll it'll push it towards a draw. Well, that's too bad, Albert. Yeah. So that's a luck I have in this game. I have <laughs> in Labatai. I have no luck at all. Oh. I, I, but I use it all up in my Civil War. Game. Well, there you go. Up. There you go. And lucky in love. Lucky so. in love. Well, I think so. Maybe. But, uh... <laughs> Wendy, Wendy so, might say so this. the uh, other David down there, that, uh, they're doing a Rising game? Yeah, so David McGurney and another fella connected, and they're playing Ryzen. Okay. So, yeah, so it's kind of exciting. We've got probably about six games going around the universe that I'm aware of. Um, and there's some fellow who posted who's looking to try to find a, um, a player um, in... Um, uh, we're just trying to find a player, I guess, in the uh, 
in the uh, is this thing streaming? Uh, I don't the... know. Yeah, um, trying to find somebody to play the game uh, using um, what is it? Uh, regs. That won't work. I don't think. I think you're going to have a hard time figuring out how to do the command points and that. Yeah, they there are there are rules that I think Nigel or someone else had posted um, that will allow you to do it. It's not quite as um, free flowing as what you've got for um, Premiere. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what the results are. Um, and I think there's somebody else who was playing maybe using Marie Louise because there have been a few people who'd posted on Consent trying to get some ideas on, on how that was supposed to mm. work. So, yeah. All right. Well, uh, by uh, the way, John, uh, Al said John is not joining us tonight. Okay. Well, since you guys have done, uh, it, basically what's going to happen is someone will just have to watch on you know John's side for defensive fire offensive fire you know um, and kind of what's going on there in that regard um, since you guys have already moved there's not anything else that's really particularly exciting um, happening over in that part of the world yeah I guess we can just finish the move up and then stop a little early maybe yeah, so and that probably Robert would be good just here. for Robert. Yeah, so you remember Robert because he had joined us at um, at uh, yes, Yena. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, he played on the uh, other side for me, but I remember him. Hi, Robert. Okay. Hi, how are you doing? So I'll introduce you. This There's Albert. Right, right. I remember playing. That. Right, and then we have a new friend who's joined us named David Plock. David is out in Florida, and okay. he just kind of got connected with us, um, watching and uh, our games live streamed and uh, connecting to us through the Discord channel. Um, and okay. so he's been helping out. He's he's substituted from time to time um, on Moscow <laughs> when somebody was missing, oh. and so oh. now he is uh, he's got Eugene's core at Moscow. And he has been sort of, I guess you would be doing the Austrian center um, uh, here at Dresden. Mm -hmm. And so he's been playing for probably, what, about a month, David? A little more than that now, I think. Yeah, now. yeah. Probably. Oh, nice. Yeah, he, he's, he's, a core, he's a core member now. There you he's go. Dependable. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, no, I'm, the, I'm the newbie here. So. Yeah. So, well, Robert and I have, have been playing some uh, Vassal stuff off and on over the course of the last, I don't know, probably four or five months. Um, we did play, I think, one of the scenarios of Dresden. We were play testing. Maybe it was the scenario one or two where um, I think where Pajol has got to run around over on the on the west side of town. Um, yeah, we played we played the one where you had Murat do like the. The, oh yeah so that's sweeping yeah that's the that was the that's not sweep. this day it's this it's the second day when the rain is yeah. coming down and none of the muskets are working yeah um, that was a very depressing scenario <laughs> yes the least. yeah and and to be honest with you it was it was pretty monotonous because it was the same thing where stuff is just you know getting ground up and then the next thing moves and gets ground up so there wasn't a lot of tactics to it other than where where are we going to ground up, grind up the Austrians first kind of a thing. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. how, how it's like sweeping out, you know, the your garage, which corner of the garage do you start in? So it, I didn't find it all that entertaining, not as entertaining as this scenario is. So <laughs> All right. Well, cool. Um, so we've got some sense of what's going on here. Robert's kind of getting caught up on things. Um, and uh, and we should be able to play most Mondays. So um, yeah. we can keep... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Robert and I have suspended our Ryzen game because we can't. We don't have time to do both. Um, so he's mm -hmm. now completely devoted to, uh, to this, which means yes. then, Robert, you, you've won Ryzen. 
the Austrians did not get across the uh, across the uh, Utra River there or whatever you're it's called. Being too, you're being too kind. I, I yeah, maybe slightly. You were you were really good at rolling 11s, 12s, and 13s. I have to say. Yeah, no, particularly for those Austrians trying to make their morale checks. I invariably get across the causeway, coming in, bayonets pointed. I, you know, there's a little whiff of gunpowder. And they all turn around and run back the other way. It's like, God damn it, why can't they stand and fight? Oh, well. Story of my yeah, life. That was, that was... I have a feeling I'm going to see a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least you've got a few Austrians here that have got decent morales, but the ones that are there at Ryzen, I don't know what. They recruited them from the local, you know, prison or something. I don't, they were not terribly motivated. Uh, at least I found yeah. that to be the case. Beautiful, beautiful cavalry that the Austrians have, and some lovely guns, too, um, which Robert uh, wiped out uh, two batteries with a bayonet charge. That, that was kind of fun. Though. That was, yeah, that totally took me by surprise, because I'm just like, oh, yeah, that, that'll never happen. And so they failed to hit, <laughs> and then they failed a morale check, and then it was all over but the crying. So what can you do? I'm just looking around here on the map over on my John's side here. I got a couple questions. Sure. By the Grosse Garden, there's an exhausted cavalry. Yep, those guys charged during your turn. One of them's flipped over. Oh, he should be he should be right side up. That's what I thought. And yeah. also your exhausted one, he's flipped over too. I yeah, no, we had just we just flipped him over for the sake of of um uh, for the sake of seeing what the result, you know, what the morale or the combat values were, so that's probably why they just didn't get flipped back again. What what is the what is the counter with the dice on it with the one? That indicates um, that it's out of ammunition. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Out of yeah. No. So you have so, to roll for it. Yeah, I have to roll for it. So the French in this game don't have ammunition wagons. Um, they're considered in supply unless you roll an 11 on your die roll when they're firing. And if that happens, then they've run out of ammunition and then you can roll to try to get them resupplied. If you look under the, um, the enemy or the allied ammunition, you'll see uh, uh, under the uh, uh, allied uh, artillery, you'll see a little ammunition marker that might have oh, might say four, might say five, whatever else. When they deplete down to three or fewer remaining uh, uh, shots, then they can start to roll for resupply. Um, and, okay. and so everyone's got to roll a five or a six to get resupplied. So French artillery does not unless it rolls what? So French artillery is considered always in supply. So there's no, you don't have to mark down your shots as you take them. But if you roll an 11, roll a, 11, a natural, it's, it's a natural 11, then, mm -hmm. then that gun is marked as out of ammunition. And then you can roll for it to get resupplied. Okay, makes sense. So it could right. be that it run, you know, you shoot it at the, during your fire phase and you roll an 11. And then during the reorganization phase that happens later in your turn, you can roll a five or a six and it's resupplied again. Or okay. maybe it doesn't. Maybe not. No. Yep. So that's kind of what's up. Okay. Oh my gosh, everything's like dead. Yeah, this side of the... So if you're looking at the uh, east side of the battlefield, um, John, who you haven't met yet, he's a real nice chap. Uh, I met him out at Dallas last year. He came pounding in hot and heavy on that side of the uh, field with the Russians and the Prussians and, uh, you know, was able to capture readout one. Custom. Oh yeah. He is, he is, he is the personification of Marshall Blucher there. Um, okay. yeah. So he came in, you know, and, well, and I'm not sure if I like him since he's done all this. <laughs> well, but in the same stroke, very, not very nice. In, in the same stroke, he had, you know, most of his stuff is all blown to pieces the Prussians are, you know, a few more things get eliminated and they're going to be on a morale level. Same thing with the Russians. A few more, a few more things get eliminated. They're going to be on a morale level. So they're, okay. they, they, they took it a little worse than, than 
what they've inflicted. But yeah, that the 44th Division and the 43rd Division have taken quite a beating in the process. So okay, yep, gotcha. All right. Yeah, and of course now the new you know center of the threat is down here along the southwestern uh, ax you know uh, uh, focal point of the city. So okay. all right. We ready to continue on? I believe it's still the 1220 turn, right? Yeah, the 1220. Yep. We only did, all we did was the Allied move. Okay. We got everything else to do. Okay. Well, let's go up to the cup. So, Robert, you remember where to find the cup? Up at the top? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I, it's there. We will, we will have you as the, as, uh, the, the new guy draw a chit. A virgin. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> The dra all right. Up and mm -hmm. drag it over to the... All right. Oh, oh it's, it's the French. The French. So shocking. Okay. Yeah. So with so for that, um, we would go just like the usual sequence of play would be charges. Now at this particular stage of I don't have any cavalry. So you don't have any cavalry that can charge because it's exhausted, and it's the same thing on my side of the board over here with Pajol where he's exhausted. So there's no cavalry charges. Okay. So this guard artillery is attached to me? So it's not attached to anybody. So if we want to move okay. it, so when I moved it, I spent uh, a single command point to move that one unit. Oh, that's okay. That's yeah. Interesting. Um, so right now he's where he is. He can kind of support you because he can reaction charge. He can charge and do stuff at some point in the future. But at least for the moment, he's kind of stuck on his own. Yeah. Um, is, okay. I can see. That, uh, We're talking about the the heavy guard cavalry that's over here behind readout number two. Can't do much, nothing, anything right at the moment. Yeah, no, not, no, none of the French cavalry can. So here's where it it's going to get interesting because since John's not here to kind of watch things, we need to kind of um, uh, figure out how to do stuff with our time movement. So normally we have ten minutes to move. Um, I'm kind of taking over Tom's side of the map uh, over here where the 40, what is this, the 40, 45th Division and Test Brigade are, um, at least for the moment. So um, I'll be doing some stuff that's going to affect, I guess, Albert, and maybe some stuff that might affect um, uh, me. Yeah, you, indeed. So. Uh, and then somebody needs to kind of keep an eye on on so we'll, Robert, but I don't know. There's a lot of movement that's going to be happening over there. Yeah, well, let's just do uh, to, since we have time tonight. Let's just do uh, we'll do ten minutes for you and then ten minutes for uh, Robert. Okay. And sequentially, and that way we can he can kind of watch what your side does, and it kind of slip into the game flow or whatever. Okay, and, I think that's uh, we'll, and we'll have plenty of plenty of time to, uh, you know, so that only adds an extra ten minutes to the to the process, really. Okay. So or whatever. So that's a that's an idea. Okay, I think that is a good idea. So if you want to start the clock, um, so David, do you have a clock, or shall I start yep. one? That one started. Okay, cool. So I'm going to start uh, here no. with. Um, with moo number two which is test so we're taking people out of their uh, road order um, and kind of getting them up into place and changing them out so out of road order and this guy's going to come forward here and change out of road order and this guy's going to come up here and change out of road order and then I'll have this guy come up here. So that's one, two, three, four. And he'll change out a road order. That's five, six. And then this guy's going to go one, two, three, four. And then he's going to change out of road order. And I'm going to move test over here. And I'll bring up the guns. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll turn those guys around. Whoops, overshot it a little bit. 
All right, and then we'll delete what about all those. That square right there? You've got two different gears oh, there. I'm sorry, oh. I didn't see that guy there. Okay, I will. I thought that guy had moved out. I'll just move him back, and let's see what else can I do. Now you, now you need some. Now you need somebody to stack a bleeder. No, nope, I just I just moved the artillery back. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. And of course, the, tele the telephone rings. All right, moving over to Moo number one. Hmm, this is going to get a little trickier. Let me get the movement charts so I can remember what the costs are to do anything on this map. Movement. Uh, oh, and one of our dear friends out there in the universe has sent us a note uh, to explain what the different um, costs are for stuff. So let's see. So this guy can go back. What's underneath this hex? That is a little town. So that's going to be <coughs> two. Okay, I think I can get this guy there. Um, let's see, that's, I can't really do anything with those other people. One, two, three, uh, they're stuck. Um, hmm. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll just turn them slightly. And I'm going to move. And then this guy can fall back here. And we will turn him. Not that it matters, it's general order. Okay. And that's about it for those two moves. I don't think I've got anything else exciting I can really do at this stage. So, all right, that's it for me. You can stop the clock. <laughs> you only use three and a half minutes? Yeah, well, it's only, you know, a brigade and us and one division. So there's only so many grand things I can do at a time. Um, let's move over here, I guess, to Robert. Okay. Um... Yeah, so sure. so you've got guns here, here, and here. So you don't yeah, really want to put anything those. in front of those. Yeah, and they. No, no. Yeah. I'm just looking to see if I have. Oh, here. Okay. So, no. One, two, three. Because we don't have guns. Yeah, so this this guy here that's in square, oh, you could take him out of square and pull him back. And you Hold could move the skirmishers it. back. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, is how much is it to change formation? Is it two? So infantry cost one, artillery cost two. Okay. One. So Right, and he's probably going to have to be in two hexes, yeah. So just rotate him around. There you go. Move him there. And then, uh, these guys are in square, you said, so. He's got oh. a four and a one yeah, under him. Yeah, I was looking at which that. One is, we which, which one is that? Uh, five, yeah. Or, or oh, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Yeah, he only had four, so. Yeah, he had four. No, it's just so easy. To you're supposed to. You're supposed to add the increment losses to them, Robert, not to us. <laughs> oh no, I'm hitting the delete button. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so these guys are here. They're coming. Down. Yeah. So these, I think these guys so here and these guys are part of the forty-fourth. 
so they can move. Oh, such great morales. Yeah. Um, so we'll move them back here. Well, I gotta see how many you think there are like eight. And they've lost so they're a couple. These guys have artillery, that's fine. These guys are good. Oh wait, those are the guards. I don't have any control over them. Yeah, so those guys that are stacked with gross. So basically yeah. the forty fourth units that are way over here, they can't move unless they move toward the uh, right, so so this command. this guy is in command, but this guy's not in command, and these guys and this, aren't these guys in command. are not in command. Neither yeah. these and these guys. guys and neither are those guys. So even though this guy is technically within three, these other units block or line block of communication. They're not in the same. Exactly. Yeah. So during the regroup phase, you can move people over towards him. Um, did I tell you I have the special cell phone rule? They all can talk, talk to each other. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I, I thought it was the I thought it was the 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 Dixie cup and the uh, and the string. And the string. Yeah. There you go. So these guys are actually in square. Do I? Um, you don't have any. There's no. Well, so the ones that are there by the readout, you mean? Yeah. Oh, I can't switch them out because they're out of command. They're out of command, and so they, they if they if they formation. did if you did change formation, then they the artillery would have to displace because you can't okay. have them stacked because unless there's a leader there. So that's why they're stacked with the artillery. Um, okay. Now with the ones that are out of command, if I remember right, they can move toward there. They will move towards them during the regroup chit. So the when we draw the is... when we draw the regroup chit, then that's when they'll move. If I want them to. Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, well, if that's it, that's I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. That's fast. Well, there's okay. there's you guys have got more exciting stuff to do than we do. We're just kind of reacting. We're putting out fires. So, okay, so now what we would have would be the defensive fire phase. So, Albert, do we want to start over here on the west? Oh, actually, the only thing left I have would be to just to move um, Pajol. I can move him back one, two, three, four, five, six, and kind of, yeah. And then he will be, I've got to fix this here. He's got his little stack is, there we go. There's his go. other, there's his other. The other guy guy's right so up there, here. Really. Yeah. Right there. Okay. So they're yeah. together. Re, reunited. Yep. Reunited. And we should sing a song. Isn't that a Dior, Dion Warwick song? I'm not sure. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Reunited. I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the song. Else, right? Yeah, he moved less than half, so. so go ahead and remove your exhaust. Okay. While we're over there. Yeah. All right. So now we can go do. Exhausted off the guards' cavalry too, right? Uh, no, the. Uh, yeah, not yet. yet. Uh, yeah, not there yet. Um, although I don't. Personally, I think that they. Yeah, I don't know. They because they fought this turn, um, not this oh, so phase, they but they fought this turn. So, all right. Um, so Albert over here at Altona and Klein Hamburg, let's do our defensive offensive fire. All right. So I've got my. Um, okay, I've got the three there. So, let's see, right, we're right there. Yeah. And uh, I've got the three there. I've forgotten, why can't the artillery fire? They, they could, they just add in two, because they are they have to oh, fire at long range, because it's a walled fort. And okay. they don't give you an artillery bonus. So they yeah. don't give you an odd sh a column shift. 
to the add in too. So I've got nine there with the one group. And then with these other guys, uh, kind of forgotten some of this stuff. So they have three twos and so they should they should be down in one one hex now. So put them right there. So um, yeah, so we got three there too. So we got uh, 18, 18, and actually we add the two in there. We're gonna have twenty, which is Ooh, what it makes it one to have. one. Two to one. No, so not two, two to one. It's one to one. Oh yeah, twenty to twenty to twenty, 20 to twenty. So. So roll your dice, Albert. Run. Just to add that. Fifty one, that, that is a hit. Oh. There you go. So he goes up to four. Yep. All right. Before we forget, I'll take a pot shot back at you so I can fire here and there. So it's four to four to fourteen and four to fourteen. Can I even All shoot right. at you? One. One to, uh, I can't even shoot now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you would have been, well, let's see, you would have been three or three, or yeah, four. So you can't shoot. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So now we go down to this uh, bottom one. As I remember, I don't have a one to one here. Yeah. It's just short of that. Uh, I just got four, four times three is 12. And that these guys don't make up the difference. Uh, there are only six, so we've got 18. 18 to 20. Uh, I'm just going to... Just roll your dice. Right. And that's, that's a, miss. a miss. Okay, now these guys can fire at you. So these guys would fire 5 to 14 and then 5 to 6. So first on the 5 to 14. Well, that's maybe close enough. 5 to 14. No, that's not. I need to be better than that. And, yeah. then, the, and then the 5 to 6, and that's a would have been good. I uh, yeah. should have had it the other way around. Well, you know, that's the machinations of fate. So Machinations of fate. Yes. Indeed. I wonder, who, I wonder if that's a Dennis ism or a... That's probably a Larry Gross ism. It's okay. probably a Larry Grossism, indeed. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, now Robert we're over here. Monty. Yeah, we're over Monty here. Week, by the way. Oh, did you hear from Monty? Okay. Well, you can yeah. fill us in after the fire combat. Okay, so let's see. We have the these guys who are, flip them over, there are three. Mm -hmm. So there are nine. And then I got these guys in their printed value, a six. So it's 15. 15, and we're firing on the left hex, okay. or the right hex. So right hex 15 to 6, 2 and a half to 1. Actually, those got, yeah, that's right. They're in 2. 15 to 6. I'm just going to kind of. Um, man, it's 56. 56. That is a hit. That is a palpable hit. And that's their first hit. All right. Okay. And we'll make a. A morale check. Well, I'll take my shot first, I guess, for what it's worth. So we'll fire here. I've got eight times two. I've got 16 to 14. I got a one-to-one -one shot on those guys. And that's a miss. And Actually, miss. those guys are flipped over, Eric. Those guys are flipped over. They're pretty skirmishers. Right. These guys. That's why their defense was 14, right? Right. Okay. I didn't yeah. hear what you said. Yeah. So I, I just put everybody on those guys. All right. I'll make my morale check. 42, I think I passed. All right. So now I get the other shot at you here. Yep. So we got six in the nine five, and we've got two times three is six. So you've got uh, 12 to nine. 12 one to, one. to nine. Okay. The one and 64. Another That's hit. another hit. Where Albert is on a roll. No pun intended. All right, well, while I'm over here, can I do some more shooting? Of course I can. Let's see if I can shoot over this way. Yeah. What are you shooting? Uh, I'm artillery shooting now. artillery. Oh. Yeah, it can't pass that way. It's got to go here. So it's just going to be a, a 16 to um, 
16 to 14 shot on those guys. Okay. And that's a hit. So okay. one to one hit on your Grenzers. And time right. for a morale check. Let's see. Do the Grenzers are on, we're on odd then, right? Uh, all of the Austrians and Prussians check on odd. I forget after a week goes by. <laughs> hey, William, right. or hey. Eric, what, yeah. is, what is the thing to do the circle? It's control what or what? Oh, it it's do? Alt and then alt. the the left key. Yeah. Alt, alt left key, left mouse. To, yeah. Left, left, left mouse. mouse. Oh, okay. Now I can have fun. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's... Calm yourself down, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Yeah. I'll see you guys see, later. Yeah. Then that see, was the little things, you know, those little things going on everywhere over there. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they're residual. They won't go away over there. Okay. I, I thought that was like precision bombing or something. Yeah, it is. It's the it's our space lasers that we're using. All right. So let's see. So uh, okay, you you took that uh, that artillery, right? So more defensive fire. Actually, have this. Uh, 10 5. Yeah. Yep. And they look like they're in mass. Yes, so, everybody's in mass unless they're stretched out over two hexes. Okay. They're a six to a. So the fire defense either. actually, there was a fellow who pointed out that the suburbs are considered town and not considered city. So it's going to be a fire defense of 16. So six to sixteen, Whoa. it's going to be one to three. So, boy, that's not not going to kill many people in that place. Okay, it's improbable. A twenty-three. 23. That's yeah. a miss. I want a do-over, man. I did all mine at the twenty-two, man. Well, you'll you'll get your chance to 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 blast me for the rest of the game. But yeah, this fella had sent it, and and it's not on any of the stuff with the fire defense. So when I looked at it, I'm just like, well, where is this? And and so then I'm looking around, and I actually found it on... Because if you look at the terrain chart that comes with it, it's it indicates that that is uh, that's, uh, city, city slash town. So I'm trying to figure it out. So I sent, you know, I sent... Uh, I was going to send something to Ed, and then I'm looking on the back of the... Um, movement chart and it stipulates what things are where it says villages are this cities are this town hexes are this so the city hexes are those within the walls of the Altstadt and the Neustadt and then all other red roofed buildings are that are not special structures um, are uh, town hexes yeah. and then anything that's got a thatched roof that's you know predominantly thatched roof or all thatched roofed is village so it wasn't on the fire combat table it was over on the back side of the movement table where i found the thing that clarified what it was so go figure mm. their regular defense is 14 and they got a plus two because of the uh, because of the rubble wall. wall yeah so all right so um i can fire back at you over there so my guns are currently out of ammunition but i think my units probably got something He's worth six, so I can fire back at you one to one. And a 63 is a hit. And that's their second hit. Okay. All right. And then I've got these guys here at a range of two. They can fire. And I think I've got four increments there. Yeah, four increments in skirmish order. So that's going to be uh, four. To, it's going to be six. So I'll fire in here. So it's going to be a one-to-one -one shot on those guys at a range of two, and that's a miss. And then you've got your shots here. Whoops! Sorry, hey, Eric, to move, I moved you guys. Yeah. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! We go back, Eric. Where? Uh, go back to this shot. Oh yeah, Before we get too far away. Okay. Yep. All right. So, so we've got. Uh, Three there, I believe. Three and another three of these uh, skirmishers. So that'll be uh, uh, six times uh, three, 18. And we've got another 
another six, so it's twenty-four. Right, and you and are. In, in I am in the, the village. village, and village is twelve. So it's got two well, to one. So we have a two to one. Mm -hmm. And let's see what we come up with here. Get Fifty-one. That is another hit. Scratch another potential person. All right, so let's go here and increase Don't you that. take a morale check there? I will. Let me take a shot back at you. So I'll oh, shoot at you okay. here. It's a one-to-one -one shot, and that's a miss. And a morale check here with a minus six. 44 becomes a 34, and they are a 31. So we're going to stay. Okay, good. They are fighting to the last man, apparently. Yep. Yeah, good. We'll have them. We'll kill them where they stand. Well, that's that's what those fine French troops are are good for. Not really. All right. Uh, now we pass over to David, and David, you've got various and sundry shooting you can do. All right. So I guess the defensive fire here and here again. Okay. That's uh, a one to two. Fifty-six at one to two. Nope, not quite enough. All right, and I'll take a shot back at you. I I have no idea how lousy this person is. They are six, so we'll just do a one-to-one -one shot. Uh, who hasn't? I mean, they've all been hit at this point, so we'll just do a one-to-one -one shot here on this guy. So, sixty-five. That is a palpable hit. Good. I've got some trillers that'll fire over here. Um, I, let's see how many increments these guys have got. They've got six increments. Okay. Yeah, three in each. And I don't know what their fire value is. These are Westphalian Jaegers. I think they're Westphalian. Yep, Westphalian. Oh, yeah, they're Westphalian. Um, so they are just times two. So it's just going to be six. So it would be 12, but they're halved at a range of two. So it's a one-to-one -one shot on those guys. And that's a miss. All right, David, we're down here at the readout and the environs about. So in general order, it's the printed print, correct? Yep, yep. Yep. 64, survey says that is a hit. All right, and so we will add an increment to them, and they will make a morale check with plus six. 14 becomes a 24, survey says they might just be taking a walk. <laughs> yeah, they are going to oh, be yeah. disordering. They're, they're stellar, aren't they? Uh, yeah, there, there's some of these Germans that like, do we really want to be here? Eh, probably not. No. So let's find our little morale marker here, and we're going to go back one, two, one, two, three, and we can basically get about maybe that far. Maybe they'll get happy in the rubble. Yeah, yeah we can, I guess we can put, put them there for what it's worth. Okay. All right. And did you fire back? Oh, yeah, I'll take a shot at you then. It's a one-to-one -one shot at you. Hey, I hit you too. Maybe maybe you'll disorder as well. And we both can be equally happy. I thought he was odd or even. Uh, no, the, the Prussians and the Austrians are odd. And the French are French odd. Are... It's only the Russians that are even. No yeah. I'll check. So, 32. What is this guy? He is 23. 23. So if they were feeling dyslexic, they would have been a problem. They're in a readout, too. Do they have any bonus in the readout? No, because I was wrong? firing through the no. rear of the readout. So, oh. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, moving right along. So I guess right here. Yep. So I can just... And when are you gonna, what are you going to do with your artillery? We got a one-to-one. -one. What artillery? I, I, they only can fire if they're next, right? Yeah, they can only fire when they're adjacent, Albert. Oh, a defensive fire. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's a one-to-one -one shot, Dave. Hey, that's another hit. We'll see if we send the entire depot <laughs> flying. Um, I'll be firing back at you. It is, I've got uh, probably, I don't know if I even have one-to-one. -one. I don't know what these guys shoot at. These are these depot units. So they are times two in line. So that's going to be eight to 14. Hey, what do you know? That's enough for a hit. And I'll make my morale check, and you can make your morale check. I pass. And you pass. Okay? Um, that looks like the end of my defensive fire Okay. Here. I've got uh, offensive fire here. So these chaps, these guns will fire on your guys that are in line there. Um, so I've got 16 to 9. So that's going to be 1.5 to 1. And I think there's a plus 1 for my artillery leader. Oh, you're right. They're in battalion mass. Well, even then, I rolled a 15. So, so yeah. yeah. So it's two and a half to one. That's it's still not good enough to hit anything with. All right. Um, good. So now things switch over to you, Robert. Okay. Uh... So we've got we've got these guns here. So this guy's thirded because he's in square. So he's not really going to do much. But these guns here can fire, and I would just, like, these guys here can fire down there onto those hoses. Yes? The thirding in square only accounts for when you're shooting adjacent. Really? Yes, that's in the rule. So the really? artillery that is in square can fire out at its regular value? Regular value. If, it's, if it was firing adjacent, Oh, interesting. That's kind of cool. <laughs> you learn something every day. I will check it, but uh, that was we, we that was something that John and I were checking just the other day. So I so I got Drew here, so he can basically have all these guys fire at once. He could, um, but it's probably better to split things up somewhat. Um, and 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 take multiple shots at things so because you've got your skirmishers here this guy can't fire down down this way he can only down fire down this down. way so he, he can, can only fire at those. yeah he can really fire at those yeah. this guy here um can fire off to the side here and duro can fire off to the side as well so that's where probably the best targets are for the Plus, we get Drew ricochet. Fire over, how can Jero fire over? Because he's up on an elevated gross. platform. The the um, oh, I see. Yeah, the readout you, guns uh, are up on a on an elevated on a platform. Elevated platform. Okay. Um, and the uh, um, and the uh, what are those gr uh, green things? Those are uh, I can't even read this terrain key. It's so small. So everything over here is clear. So even so though it, those, it, those are just so decorative. Like yep, it's all decorative. It's all fluff. It's, it's just fluff. so many chrysanthemums and and ivy and whatever else. So there's there's no. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then, so we'll. So Eric, it's in eleven point four point two. Okay, I'll take a look at that. Well, I'm looking at it here. Artillery may combine its fire with the infantry uh, when conducting offensive fire, but only if the target is within one hex. Um, artillery deployed with a square may fire at range during the offensive fire segment of battle, but always at one-third its printed strength. Oh, always. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm I'm um Oh it is one third then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. shouldn't have said anything eric <laughs> well so here's the thing robert i've i've learned that what's good for the goose is good for the gander so if i say oh yeah that sounds great and then later on you know all of the prussians and russians have got our artillery stacked in their squares and they're blowing the shit out of us sorry you, yeah uh, so I've I I do that. So Robert, go ahead and, and pick some targets and okay. start blowing stuff up. So so um, I'll have Drew and the guys that are in square fire at the cavalry. Okay. So so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's twelve, and a third of one, two. So three, that's going to be four, another five, two. Six, seven. So that's two. So that's 14, 14 to 14. Six. They're in, they're in line. Um, but are because they, oh, they, they but because they have eight, uh, increments, they have the fire defensive column. So it's going to be 14 to six. So it's six. going to be, so it's going to be two to one a, with a plus six with for plus duo. Six. Yeah. Duo. Ooh, somehow move from one. Yep. Okay. 14 to 6. Here we go. 12. 12. So with a Brilliant. plus 6. Yeah. yeah. 18. That's that's not going to do it. So 2 to 1. Nope, that's going to be a miss. Okay. All right. And then um, let's see. The one, the artillery with gross. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, we're going to go with the 8, 6 that is there. With, that has one hit on it. So, grow. Uh, that's twelve to. So I don't know 12. that you could that you could shoot it, Robert, because, oh, because there's that the skirmisher Toledo's, in the way. Yeah. So yeah. you might want to go for this one here, where Tipplekirch is. You can just fire. Okay. And there's nothing blocking that. So that's going to one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be a one to one shot. Um, then my other guys. artillery is blocked as well, so I can only shoot at the. You could shoot at that. Yours. These, yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. So Gross will shoot then at those guys. Okay. That would be then. It's a one to one. Twelve. To yeah. Oh no, six. Six to six. Right. Right. So one to one. There we go. Forty one. Mm, so no, nothing. That's not. Good. And then for these other guys. So it's there. a range of five, so it's going to be 12 to 14 firing on that hex. Yeah, one to one and a half. I don't know if this guy, does he have anything in? Yeah, he, he has, has in one. One to one and a half. Oh my gosh, these guys just don't know what to do. <laughs> All right. All right. So that's it for that's that it for the artillery. Yeah, so then moving up the line, we've got some defensive fire. Here with these Landveer, mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure. You guys can flip it over and see. It's probably oh, so it's four to fourteen. They can't shoot because that's less than one to three odds. Mm -hmm. um, so Robert, you can unload on them. You've got, I, got I think, a you've got five increments two. there. So that's uh, fifteen to six, two and a half to one. To six. Come on, I've rolled enough single. Oh, there we go. That's a hit. Yeah, that is a single hit. So those guys are up to two hits. No morale Can you checks. Take care of that, Albert? It looks like what? somebody already did. Oh, yeah, right. I yeah. I did it. I did it. Okay. All right. And then you've got. Um, You've got these uh, uh, these skirmishers here can fire maybe across at those skirmishers. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Half. Or they could fire at that skirmisher. So they've got maybe four increments couple. left. So it's going to be 12. Six. It's going to be, well, f yeah. So 12, it's going to be 6 to 14. 6 to 14. So we'll go after the, uh, we'll go after the uh, third there. Okay. The third shoots in. All right. 
No. <laughs> I just can't stop rolling those. Good, good roll. Well, ne next Monday I'll be really hot. But there I'm you go. Ready. There you go. Okay. All right. So. Um, so they get to guys. shoot at us here with this. Oh, uh, yeah. They've got some. They've got one increment of, of fusiliers here, and then they got these guys in line. So. So that'd be uh, twelve plus. What's twelve plus? Uh, slew, shoot, it's going to be fifteen. What? 15. It'll be fifteen to fourteen. So it's a one to one shot. Then, go ahead, David. Why don't you roll it? Okay. And that's a Ooh. nothing. Ah. Okay. Well, and then I infected. I infected <laughs> you. I guess. So here, Robert, go ahead and shoot on this guy. See if you can. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have one increment. Yeah, so it's. it's, it's Actually, you can't. It's three to... And I can't even shoot. Yeah, but you can shoot at this guy. So it's three to nine. Yeah. You can shoot it's at that guy. Oh, yeah, one to three. Yeah. yeah, that's true. All right, let's see. 66. No, oh, no. close. Well, that's only for leaders. <laughs> now, it would have been a hit okay. <laughs> for what it's there worth. Okay, so now you've got some artillery. So this... we'll shoot the... We'll shoot... At well, the readout. What's the defense of the readout? Um, you'd be firing if you're firing in through that uh, side of it. It's got a defense of twenty. So be six. So it'd be uh, it would be twelve to twenty. Twelve to twenty. Right. And then there's just a leader sitting there. Right. So you just you shoot right through him and whatever's behind. And he can't catch the cannonball. He he can't. As tempting as that might be. Um, all right, so we'll do, we'll shoot through the leader at the other infantry unit there then. So that's medium range, that's 12 to six. Correct. Firing right now. So this one here is firing there, Robert? Yeah. Okay. It. Oh, I forgot about the all thing. So... Here we go, two to one. That's probably not enough. 26 is not enough. Two to one. It's a miss. Yep. It's got to be 32, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we got some artillery next to that. And those guys will shoot further. Oh, so. they're facing. They're face, they're yeah, they, got, the they got turned First. around. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're just, we're just taking ourselves out. There we go. They're they're keeping the the population of Dresden <laughs> under control. Yeah. Yes, we're tying people to the front of the guns and making them examples. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five. So that's five is medium range. Oh no, is that long range? Um, five is medium. Five is medium. Yeah, so that would be eight to six against the twenty-third uh, there. So eight, yeah, that guy. I got those guys. Yeah. One to one. Oh, thirty-one. No. Mm -hmm. Thirty-nine. And then there's oh, more to Eric. Yep. Your guys that are your guys that are not in the bastions are in the redoubts. Do they have unlimited artillery, ammunition supply? Uh, everybody does. All the French. Everybody. Yep, all the French okay. do. Yeah, so unless okay. they roll, what is it? Roll unless they roll an 11, yep. Okay, all right. All right, and then um, I have one more piece of artillery that can shoot. And that's under Mouton, who adds in plus three. It's medium range against your Trulliers there. So that'll so be 12 to, 12 to 12 14, to 14 with, a plus with a plus three. three. 36. Nope, no, no, no. Not enough. All right. And you get to shoot at me now there. Okay. I'm really not sure hard. there's a shot there. There's like one guy there, I think. Yeah. So, so you, we'll it's, see. no, because it's two to 14. Yeah. Because your not skirmishers enough. aren't enough. They can't, they can't do anything. So they're just, Basically, there to get blown away. <laughs> All right. Well, I, 
Wait, I have my guy then, Ben. Uh, uh, no, but he already the, that guy already got shot at by the guns, so you can't shoot him twice. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. All right. So we've got uh, a little bit of reorganization to do. Uh, so we'll start with units that need to uh, rally. So Robert, you've got a unit here that's routed um, that needs to uh, reorganize. Morale of 31, okay. no hits. Or at least I don't think there's any hits, yeah. You must have assaulted or something. Yeah, they, I think they were, they were uh, failed okay. the pre-mail and morale check. With a minus six, Minus right? six, yep. Now they're nope. still going to run away. So if you can, let's send them, since I've got reinforcements coming down this bridge, send wow. them um, over this way. Okay. So send them that way, so that way they're out of the way. I mean, it take all of their movement, yeah. What is their movement? One, two, three, four, five. You can get them right there. They've got a movement of six, I believe. Good. Yeah. Two, so two, three, four, five, six, that will be good. Without the, without the hit mark on the trees. Yeah, so they're going to be right there. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, the phase drives me crazy sometimes. Okay. Okay. Right. Hey, the, two, and... the two disappeared. Hey, the, 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 that's the because crisis? that's because Robert kept clicking. He didn't have any hits on him. He didn't oh, have any okay. hits on yeah. him. Yeah. I accidentally right. clicked the. I was trying to click oh. slip, and I kept adding stuff instead. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, then I've got people, so I'll roll for this fellow who's routed, uh, this cavalry that's routed over here by Friedrichstadt. 35 becomes a 25. And let's see what he's worth. Uh, Fifteen. Okay, so he's he's back. He's back. Okay. All right, then moving right along, um, we've got a whole bunch of people that are just ordered down here. So we'll start with um, this chap here and we'll see what we get. 54, so he is feeling better. Oh, and I moved the Chevaux de Free by mistake. Okay. Okay. That and then we will we will roll for this guy here. 36, 26. I'm saying he's probably going to disorder or route. Go route or sorry, yep. disorder. So let's go ahead and flip him. Yep. So he's gonna go back, and so that's going to be um, he's going to have to go over the top of somebody. So he's just going to go over the chap who just recovered. So one, <laughs> two. <laughs> and so he's he's back here. Uh, right there. Okay. And so now this guy's got to make a morale check. And he's going to disorder. Somewhere here I've got a disorder marker. All right, I've got more people to roll for. I've got one more chap over here. Does he move back at all, or does he just disorder in place? Uh, he doesn't have enough movement points to move anywhere else. I mean, he could move here because it's not in your uh, zone of control. Um, but there, uh, everything else costs too much for him to move. Because he only would move half his movement, right? And all these hexes cost three to move into. So, all right. Uh, meanwhile, this chap over here is going to roll. 52. He is happy. Uh, and do I have anybody else? Okay. And then I just have this one battery that's out of supply. And they are still out of supply. Um, and that's about it. I think that's it for the housekeeping for the French. So. Yeah, that looks like it. 
Okay. Okay, so now we can go to back up to the cup. It's doing the draw. Well, we, the French just drew, so it's the uh, allies' turn to draw. Okay. I'll draw. Oh, we get to move again, Robert. Isn't that convenient? Hey, we get to move again. 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 Oh, they get to move again. Oh. Yeah, we could have had a sweeping move. All right, so it's regroup. the regroup phase. Regroup. Well, this takes a while. Yep, so the yeah, Austrians are kedging all over the place. So, uh, Albert, why don't we do your your kedges first? <clears throat> All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to start. Uh, I'll clear out up here first. So where where these are you hanging are... out? Okay. I'll start with these out of commands here. Uh, so these guys belong to uh, Bianchi up here. Right. So I go one. Okay. These are all the ones up here. Oh, mock move. Okay. Two, three, and there. So I have to. Um, and that should put everybody in. Yep. I don't think those guys can move now. So everybody's yep, in. Yep, everybody again. is back in. Uh, these guys over here belong to this guy right over here. Okay. And this guy over here. They belong to him. Okay. So, okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Right to there. Okay. Cool. Okay. This guy, right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Uh, he say he'll stay where he is. So. Okay, this guy is out of command from Bianchi because of the intervening Grenzer right there. So he could move uh, one. Let's see. It's another Grenzer. Two, three. I think he has to come. I don't, I don't think he'll move. I want to, don't want to move him. All right. Let's see. Over here, got nothing up but by Altona. Okay. Now I'll start moving these big uh, groups of guys down here. Okay. So yeah. these guys are part of the fourth division, and the fourth division leader is right yeah. here. Okay. So one, two, three. I guess. And a half, there. I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And okay, right to there. Okay, one, two, three, four to there. Robert, you don't need to move all this stuff. Just use it as a strategic reserve for later. <laughs> I keep what? telling them they should that? leave it there because they're we're going up. <laughs> Data analysis shows too many variables. You'll, we'll eventually be falling back on top of it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be catching back the other way. Yeah. That's it. That's that's some good prog prognostication. Okay. Okay. These artillery, I think, if you go one, two. Three, four, five, and up. All right, and then three, four. And these 
these guys are also part of the fourth and they're not in column so one two three four five okay now for the uh let's see i think that's all of the fourth okay yeah all right so now I'll do the guys on the other road okay where's and their leader at we... this is the um this is oh he's up there at, at uh at division holes holes off yeah right okay way up there yeah so uh these guys will go uh, they've got a little bit of a problem here actually so they go okay, one 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 and, and a half, half. Two and a half, three, three and, and a half, half, four and a half, five. five. Yeah. And down here, these guys are okay, one, two, three, four, four and a half. See, Robert, this is when we call in the Spitfires. <laughs> we just Straight strafe the them on the road. There we go. Uh, heck, all we need are biplanes. That That's it. true. Yeah, the French had some really good biplanes in the First World War. What did they Yeah, have? well, we were buying them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how great our... our uh, we didn't have Boeing yet. <laughs> <laughs> or McDonnell Douglas, for that matter. <laughs> right. Okay, who is this guy? Um, let's see who that guy he is. belongs to your to your uh to your oh, he uh, belongs guys to that the, are over here the cavalry yeah yeah um by the way i'll i'll go ahead those guys have their leader right uh is it? i think that's yeah, there north their, of dolchin yeah you know right there yeah i'm gonna go ahead and move i'll, I'll take a little break from these uh second division here and move these guys one, two, three, four. What is the extra for going over the uh, It's an extra four. plus two, I think. Six, seven, eight. No, nine. it's actually plus three. So and one, two, three. And that'll be a 10 to four, there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. One, two, three, four, Five. seven, yep. eight, nine, ten. 11. Oh. These guys will try and. I don't know how they're going to. Oh, okay. Here they go. One. They can't go that way because they can't go through general order terrain during regroup. That's clear. There's a clear hex right here. Oh, I see. They can't go through general order terrain. Nope. So. Well, how are they going to. There's no way for them to go anywhere with that. That you well you you move these guys and then they can move back yeah. this way. All right, I see. Yeah. I, yeah, I see. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. All right, so now we're moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. I think I'll get rid of that uh, label. All right. So I'll, I should have done it. I'm going to do this first. <laughs> One. So what about that guy? Uh, uh, this five, is why five, Albert is not a traffic policeman. Five. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Well, he can only move 10, Albert. Uh, I'm just trying to be, oh, 10, yeah, 10. Yeah. I'm just trying to be considerate of your time. We would have we would have lost the, the Battle of Bastion there if Albert was directing the American troops up the road there. I have no doubt he would have the well, tanks. You know, no, I'm a, I would learn fast. <laughs> and, you know, so. All right, so now uh, we got some more cavalry. Let's get you know, so so get Albert, you there. you can't move these guys here because they can't go into general order terrain. So these guys, these guys road? that you moved, no, they're not in road column. So if oh, they're okay. in road column, they could they can move along the road, but they are. They're not in road column, so they would they'd still be back here. They can't move. They can't move oh, there. They could they could move up here. They could move there, and but then the they they just get stuck. And the question they, is that's not gonna be good. So let's see. Yeah, they would just kind of get stuck there. So Yeah. Well, so I could move okay. We've got uh, competing got competing guys here. The cavalry can't move because they're in the way. And they can't move because general order terrain's in the way. Yep. Uh, say. So I'm gonna take the cavalry around this way. I didn't know that rule. Four. Yeah, we talked about it last time. Six. As the same oh, thing happened, yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, 15. So, where's the French cavalry? The French cavalry is coming on as reinforcements. No. So we've got some light cavalry that has shown up that's getting ready to cross um, from the oh, Neustadt um, to the south oh, side of the yeah. Elbe. And then we've got more cavalry that's coming in as reinforcements um, this turn. So did, didn't... Marshal Marat have this like huge thing of cavalry in this game. It it he like, does, but it's but it it's yet to later. show up. Yeah. So if you look at okay. the the reinforcements of the timeline. yeah for the well, you and I had played a later scenario. Yeah, we played a later scenario of this. Um, gosh, was it last summer when I came down to visit you at your mom's house? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and so that that's... was the one where I was throwing the French around. Yeah, that was around Friedrichstadt, I think. Yeah. Friedrichstadt, yeah. Yeah. That was that was a fun game actually. That was. I, that was a really good scenario too. And that was a tough one cuz we we didn't have I think we had test brigade and or maybe there were some young guard that were coming in. I couldn't remember what you had. I have the I ha, I remember moving the young guard through uh, yeah. Friedrichstadt. Yeah. And how frustrating it was. And then I remember <laughs> I pushed you out of Friedrichstadt. But yeah. um and then we had those guns. Oh, they're there uh, in Ubigen or Ubigau. Yeah, the, that battery. Shooting over at you. Remember, I like, <laughs> like I like rolled so well. I like took out a whole bunch of stuff just from there. Oh, well, I'm, we could. We in fact we can still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right. eight, nine, ten, oh. twelve, oh. thirteen, fourteen. Oh, we can we can fire those Ubigan guns at the at the Austrian cavalry that's down here, Robert. Oh, when it's the artillery attack? Uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, are you done with done, all your done. wild stuff? Yeah. Okay, cool. David, do you have so, any stuff to shuffle around? Oh, uh, one of, um, Albert, what about this one artillery guy right uh, here? Yeah. He's part of the um, army, yeah, he's actually, you're not going to believe this, but he's hes actually, if with lines of communication, I think he's in command. Oh, really? Because, okay. yeah, yeah take, take a look at all those skirmishers. See, it goes from here 
he goes to this guy, and then it's a continuous line of skirmishers back to him. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but those skirmishers are part of the third reserve, or the third R. Uh. Oh, that's right. Uh, right. Let's see. And so that artillery is part of this of uh, the second R. Right? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. He came. Yeah. That's right. Those guys are. I was thinking. Yeah. You know, I was thinking he was part of the group that was uh, the artillery group for the skirmishers, but he's two. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. He can come up. Uh... No, it's not very. We'll send him up this way. Yeah, if you move him oh, over yeah. here, he'll be in command. If you just get him adjacent to one of those, then he'll be in command through communicating battalions. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, David. Your turn, I guess. You've got quite a bit there. to do, though. Did you see that, Eric? Where are you at, David? Down a little bit south of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, those guys. Sure. Those two. They're what with Shivarat? Shiver yes. They're okay. The, their leaders right there. Cool. So they're now in command. All right. Now the, by Notnitz at the bottom here. Yep. Well, to cross over that uh, road, is that a raised road? Uh, you may be correct there. Yeah, so I think the raised road is just at plus one for cavalry to go over, so it just costs an extra one. Uh, streams cost a plus two, so it cost him three to get to the other side. So the other guy should just be right behind him. Yep. Yep. So, all right, so I can't move these guys. Oh, they're in. Can they move on the road? So, yes, the, the, the default is artillery is in road column. Um, whenever it's on a road. <laughs> do they need my help, David? Do they get any bonus? Or... Yeah, if they're on the road, they they it's half movement for artillery. Everything's half movement on the roads here. Um, this is a developed part of the universe, unlike Borodino. Yeah, they would follow the road. So you're not going to have them go off the road. Seven, eight, 
Please. These are all reserve units. All right, so this uh, cavalry unit over here. Okay. And the sunken roads cost plus three to move across. And 11, 12, 13. I think that is going to be two ahead of everybody else. John's? Yep. All right. He's got these two batteries here that we're heading over that way. So yeah, his leader's over there near the gross garden at this point. He's got the, the, uh, these other uh, Prussian guns that are down here by Straylin. Okay, those are coming up the road. Those are coming up the road. The leader's here by the bridge at the Gross Garden. Okay. So that guy would end right here. Four, five, six... Uh, he was here, so one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, he eleven, to, twelve. He has to end as soon as he gets in, in command, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, I didn't see. I I didn't scroll up to see where his leader was. I was just counting how many movement points he had. All right, and then I think he had a couple of units, these Prussian units that had um, gotten back uh, from being routed. So the green guy is now Tipplekirch, and then the blue guy is still Zythan, I think. What is green? What do you mean green? So he's got, I mean, if we're looking at. Well, the leader is dead. So we're back here at Straylin. So here, if, I'll, I'll, I'll just go ahead and move it because I, I know who these guys are. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six there. And this guy's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we will turn him around. Um, this guy here would go one, two, three, four. Oh, he's going to stop when he gets there. Oh, I see yeah, green. one, two. Oh, actually, he'd go one more forward. Yep, okay, and who else does he have? Everybody else, I think, is still in what, routed. What cavalry way back here? Uh, those guys are part of... Um, uh, who's the guy that got wounded? Um, whatever that Russian leader, that, that's his headquarters escorts. Oh, okay. So they, so they can't go anywhere until he comes back on the map, and in which case they would just stack with him. So Whittingston, I think, is, is who they belong to. And the, and the infantry behind him? Uh, those guys are a bunch of militia that he is, and they're also part of the headquarters escort. So they got that little HE there for headquarters escort. So yeah. 
they they can't really go anywhere. Plus, he never moved them. He left them back there. They're complete garbage. <laughs> Worse than garbage. So, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now, we've got some regrouping to do. So, Robert, you've got a couple of... Um, You've got this one, a couple of people that are part of the 44th that you can move a little bit. So um, this guy here can move a little closer towards his leader. Um, and, and maybe this guy here. Um, hey, uh, Eric. Yep. Whittingston, when is he coming back on? Like, Whittingston I comes I back. I think it, moved him. he comes back on 2 o'clock. Oh, two o'clock. Yeah, yeah. So he comes okay. back on the two o'clock turn. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's see. The forty fourth, you said. Yeah. And the forty fourth is uh, this guy Bert. Uh, yeah, he oops. is the one over here. Uh, Berth Bertha Zine. Yeah, wait, yeah. Hold on. Let me change my preferences again. I just was following them. Just... Yeah, so yeah, so change the preference so it doesn't it doesn't hop yeah. to whoever's moving. Yeah. Well I was doing that because things were going all over the place. So. <laughs> That's okay. understandable. Uh, all right. So we'll move, we'll move those three, four, five. Oh, they have to uh, stop as soon as they're within. Oh, yeah, so three, as soon as they right. get within three or adjacent to another unit that's in command. So yeah, so at that point right there, they're they are in. So they only can move one. I, I, okay. Yeah. Okay. So now they're in command. So now we could shuffle them around if we wanted to. So. Um, Otherwise, I don't know that you need to move anybody else per se. But that sector is kind of quiet right now. Um, and you've got enough reserves. So I don't know that you need to move too many no, other people. you never have enough reserves. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, everybody else looks like they're all in command. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, um, and I don't have anything, I believe, on my side of the map. I think everybody is more or less still within command for what little it's worth. So, um, that is the extent of that. Um, so now we would go back up to the cup, and we'll draw out. Hey, it's time for the guns to fire. Mm. So we can start over here um, at those guns across the river at Ulaga that haven't fired. You've got some uh, cavalry down here that's in range. So it's, it's a one-to-one -one shot with a, I don't know how big that unit is, uh, with a plus six. Over here, by Coda. 46 plus 6 becomes a 56. That is a hit on Hex Cavalry. His exhausted oh, cavalry. Yep, yep, we're over here by... Uh, yeah, 36... Is it 36.19? Yeah. Yeah. So, mark him with hit and make him round. There? Albert. Yep, okay. this guy here. Where, who is the guy that hit those guys? They're on the other side of the oh, elbow. Across the river. Yeah. Oh, I see him. I see him. Over the river. The... All right. Wow. So let's see what we got here. Oh, we no, lo no losses so far. Yep. So it's their first hit. Here we go. Time That's for them to route. 
Time for them to route, Albert. All right. They're going to. About 13. They're going That'll to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you so called it. They right? are. You go back uh, 14. So. Yeah. Well, then I can go back 14 because they're exhausted. So they will go back uh, basically oh, right. whatever. Yeah. Are they halved, I think? Or they're uh, third. They're so they'll go back four. Four. Four, and I'll put a marker on them. All right. Hey, those yeah, guns finally those did something. Let's see. Tired, exhausted. Where is this? Where is it? Here we go. All right. Okay, cool. Mark them. Okay. All right. Um, now, we so now, Robert, we can fire these bastion guns. Um, you get a uh, ricochet through that? Oh, yeah, we would get a ricochet. So, um, so it's still, it's going to be a one to one shot. Um, minus. Yeah, just with a minus, minus six. Three or minus six. Minus minus six. six. 46. It's a miss. Okay. All right. So now, Robert, we have the Bastion guns. What you have to do is select the target, and then you would roll. If there's a leader there, he's going to subtract his thing from basically the windage of the of the howitzer shell. So if you roll a one or a two, it's on target. And and then if you if you don't, then it's going to be off target, in which case then we select randomly where it ends up adjacent to the hex that you selected. So say, for example, we we would take, um, who's a good one to shoot? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll fire this, the, the Soul Bastion. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16. We can fire on these guys there, for example. Um, so it's going to be eight to, so we, first we have to roll to see if it's on target. So the leader has, is going to subtract two from the roll. So we roll one die. It's a two. So it would have been on target anyway. So we're going to have a one-to-one -one shot on these guys here with a okay. plus two. And so that's a miss. So you kind of see how that now, why works. Why is it a pl oh, plus two for Plus two for the leader. Yeah. Okay. So, but then like this bastion over here, there's no leader there. So it's just going to be whatever you get. Um, okay. And so you might then want to aim for a hex that's got, like this one here, there's Russians all around. So if you miss it, you, you'll hit something. You're bound to hit something. You're bound to hit something. So you, can, uh, so you would just say, I'm, I'm, you, know, you target the hex, you flash it, and then roll one die. And if it's a one or a two, you're on target. OK. Well, let's go for that one then. Yeah. And let's see, one or two. So you no, rolled a five, no, so it's five, not on target. Five, okay. So now what happens is you we're going to roll. If you roll a one, it's the northernmost hex, and then two, three, four, five, six. So go ahead and roll another die, a single die. You roll the six. six. So it's going to land on this hex here. So it's going to be six to 14. Um, mm -hmm. And so you just go ahead and roll. And see if you hit anything with two dice now. Sixty-five. Ooh, that's so that's good. that's definitely a hit. And so um, they'll go ahead and mark it. And it's also a morale check for those, or maybe even those guys are dead. I don't know. No, they they still got something left. They're um, half dead. They're half dead. Yeah. So do you see where we're at? Are you guys going to mark it, or shall I mark it for you? Now let's. Oh, that's the Russians. Yeah, Russians. I, I can get it. Yeah. Okay. And then make a morale check with a minus six. Al got it already. Okay, morale check. 35 becomes a 25. They pass. He makes it. Pass. Yep. Now, they're just in one hex now because there's only three increments left. All right, so we'll put them down here. Oh, well, I don't know. Put them up here, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right, so then you've got some other bastion. You've got another bastion over here that you can fire, Robert. So yeah. I would say... That's got... Oh, that guy's... Really yeah, killed. so that one's like guaranteed to kill something. 
or at least guaranteed to land on target. So you might want to go for some of these uh, units that don't have, they've only got like one increment left so we can wipe them out. So this one here might be a good choice. Eric, you're, you're not ruthless, are you? I am completely <laughs> ruthless, Robert. You have played, how many games have you played with me, Robert? And you don't know I'm completely yes. ruthless. So. Oh, come on. You yeah, know, you've always been with management. Okay. No, hell no, he's ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> Albert has played Don't enough nice. games. Yeah. yeah, Albert's played <laughs> against me enough to know that I... I forgot. Yes, you yeah. are Eric the Red. Eric the Red. Yeah, yes, that's it's my Viking, my Viking heritage comes out here. Okay. So that so one's automatically on target. So you just tell, just, just highlight flash where you're going to land and then you roll roll two dice and see if you hit it's going to be a one-to-one -one shot so so we're going for this guy here okay so one-to-one -one shot with a plus six no nope. so that's a miss okay all right all that talk about ruthless yeah well it's okay it's part of the process all right i've and got the emperor napoleon i'm gonna we're firing that we're down in this part of the world now so i'm gonna fire on your cavalry um, I will have a plus six, plus 18. Um, so it's a one-to-one -one with a plus 18. An 11. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> ah, um, that still might be a hit, though. <laughs> Is it? No, it's not. That's going to be a one, two, three. It becomes a 41 and one-to-one. -one. That is hilarious. That's and we used up our ammunition on that one too. Yeah. So, oh, no. Yeah, that is so. You funny. had to roll for resupply. Yeah, you're out of ammunition. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I will roll for resupply for that. Oh, yeah. He Williams used up his. Yeah, he'll go somewhere else. That's uh, the movement phase hasn't happened yet. That is so funny. All right. Um, then we've got uh, Mouton here. He will fire. He'll fire here on this guy here with the first division. So I've got a, a minus three on the roll, so I'm on target. So it's a one-to-one -one with a plus three. You got a plus five, actually, because they're uh, 11 increments. Oh, yeah. Well, even then, it's not good enough to, to hit with okay. anything. All right, and then who else do we have over here? We've got Corbino's battery. Um... Well, we got a bunch of stuff over here. Let's fire. Let's fire here, shall we? Yeah, we'll fire here. So we've got a uh, just a minus one on the roll, and we're off target. So let's see where it lands. Six. So that's going to be here on this guy. So that's going to be a one to one with a plus one, and that's also a miss. And then finally, we have the Luna, and we'll put the Luna one right there. We'll see if we can get on target. Hey, we're on target. It's a one-to-one -one with a plus one for the stack, and that's also a miss. All right, and that's it for our shooting of the, of the big guns. So now we go back up to the cup of destruction. I think it's my turn to draw. Yep. So, Prussians move in. Let's see the French move. More Prussians move in. Reinforcements. reinforcements. So we've got our reinforcements here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. He's going to be down there. Um, well, actually, I can march through the hex, right? Or does the leader have to stay there, I guess? Do we remember what it is for it? I guess the leader stays there. I'm I'm moving artillery. I mean I'm moving the these guys. So I can march through, I guess, my as long as I'm not blocking. I think the leader the, can leader go the leader goes to the number and these yeah. units can go three passes or something like that. 
well, yeah, they can go through it. So let's see. So this is Latour, no, Chastel. Uh, wow, there's a lot of leaders there. Yeah, so it's like, which one is which here? Who's in charge? A lot of leaders. Uh, I think it's Chastel. Uh, is with the third. No, it's Latour Malberg, which, well, yeah. Okay. So here's those guys. One, two. That's just two increments or two hexes worth of guys. Okay. And then these guys are. I'll bring them down. And almost, but not quite. Come on. There and there. And these guys. Here and here. And oh. And those guys are with the third. Okay. And they're one, two, three, four hexes, I think. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. They're there. Okay. All right, these other guys. They were going over here to the other side. That got moved. So they are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, actually, they can only go ten, right? Because they've got the artillery there. So let's see. Ended up dropping in the middle of nowhere. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, they are right there. And everybody else is right along the line there with them. So, this guy here, he's the end of the line for this guy? He's, yep, he's the end of the line for that guy because he's 18 increments. All right. Okay, so that took care of that, guys. So then now we've got more reinforcements coming in over here on the other side of the map. So, oh, come on, work with me here. Uh, get rid of that. Okay, so this guy is Bordelaire's, and he's got a whole bunch of infantry cavalry actually six and five and nine and six wow, and 14 good god he's got all kinds of crap here doesn't he all right so it looks like that's all part of the same cavalry Oops. yeah the the first heavy it looks like okay so let's go ahead and let's lead with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty. So he gets there and he's gonna have a road marker there. And then what is it, four increments a hex? Yeah, four increments yep. a hex, yep. Yeah. You got some odd numbers there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, it is what it is. At least I've got more <laughs> cavalry than they had at uh, at Bautzen or Lutzen. Albert and I had lots of fun at that one, didn't we, Albert? And then that one has to be one more back. Which one? Oh, yeah, you're right. This guy you know, takes Bautzen? up two hexes. Yeah, Bautzen. Don't you remember how much fun we had with yeah. like hardly any? I had a lot of fun. You didn't have much fun. I did not. I, I do not blame you for that, Albert. I mostly blame so you for had, it. Uh, I had, uh, well, I thought you were going to be the decisive player, and it didn't turn out that way. But but uh, Ed had, I remember I let Ed have my command the first day. 
Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, I gave him, I gave him, a, I let him sit in for me. And the first day, and I just kind of, and then I played it the next couple of days. I I was in the middle, so I was where Ed had made some inroads. I was able to. Uh, they 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 really concentrated on that area. Well, they and, concentrated and kind of on the, Tom. They just they pounded pounced on him with all of those guard units and everything else. And there wasn't yeah. anything we could do. Um, right. And I was I was next to uh, Tom. Yeah. Like Warren was making some headway. Oh my gosh, Warren totally totally wiped them out on that one side. Yeah. But then we didn't have enough our, uh, cavalry to follow up on it. They just sent a bunch of stuff over there and kind of bottled up Warren. And uh, but yeah, that was a complete blowout on the Russian, on the Russian left. Um, well, we still clearly won the game. I mean, it wasn't wasn't it? No, wasn't they were draw. they were they were pulling off the board as fast as they could go in our sector. So, but uh, okay, well, cool. I think that's it for reinforcements. Um, so at this stage, we just go back to the cup. I think there's only there's only one thing left in there. That would be the leaders. It's leaders. So we'll go ahead and pull leaders. So right. true to form, I'm going to move Napoleon <laughs> somewhere <laughs> where he can be more effective. Uh, let's oh, you see. Want to go down to headquarters for a sec? Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we can move him over here. That's too bad to guns. Yeah, it's okay. I'd rather it happen to one of those these guns here than to some of the others that are a little bit more critical. We we should have at least twenty more batteries, I think. Well, we've had some success with these where they have managed to cause some distress to the to the you know various and sundry um, uh, folks. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's it 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 it's at least something to missed. keep them honest with. So yeah. All right. Cool. Well, that was it for my leader phase. I don't know that there's anybody else who needs to really move around very much at this point. I, right now, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, we've kind of got everybody where they need to be. Um, I think the only one person I would move would be uh, these guys here. Let's see, I will move him over here like this. Yeah, I'll move him there. All right. We can just turn things around. All right. Yeah. So, so with these, the cavalry you're moving on, the third light, where's the leader for this? Um, he is right oh. here. Yeah, he's Latour oh, Malberg, that. I think. Ooh, godlike guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's French have got lots of godlike characters yeah, there. Now, why do you have the counters there, the fifth, 15th? So, so when reinforcements come on, um, the turn oh. after they come on, then you can give them a, a, um, a, desig a, 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 a place to go. Point. Yeah, yeah, designated point. So they can then march to that, um, mm -hmm. and and then once you get them there, then you know now you can, you know, do whatever with them once they get there. But it, it's kind so, of it kind of gives you a free move. You don't have to pay to give them an administrative march. They get an administrative march. Um, the turn after they march on as reinforcements. Okay. And then, and so for Latour Magberg, once you have all these guys together, he can roll for his own move, right? 
he can roll for his own move, or we've got you know people that can um, uh, that can do stuff move wise. You know where he's got stuff that whoops. Yeah, Marshall Marat does he generate a move? He does. Yeah, so we've okay. got right now as far as like guaranteed moves. We have a move for Napoleon, a move for Sancerre, and a move for um, Marat. Marat. Yeah. Three. Yeah. And then I think next turn, uh, I don't, I, we, we get somebody else on. Who do we get? Um, oh, next turn, we get more artillery. But the following turn, I think at 120. No, where is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, at 120, we get Marshal Mortier and Marshal Ney. So we then get two more moves. So we'll have five five moves um, guaranteed wow. plus whatever, you know, light cavalry initiative kind of stuff we, we can roll, we roll okay. for. So you have more of the third light coming over the bridge in the north there. Correct. And so they got to move down to... So I have South. to see, yeah. So I got to kind of see where I want to move them. They they have their own leader, so I can generate a a a move with them with light cavalry. Um, with Latour Malbrook. Correct. You have to roll for him. He's probably like five or six or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or something. Okay. Well, they've got tons of cavalry coming from every direction. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, they've got all kinds of stuff all over the place. So it's all over. I mean, it's just like a mess. So. Yeah, yeah. This it it uh, it will become a bit of a tangled mess for a while yet. Um, and everybody gets theirs. Yeah, and then we'll kind of figure it out as as we go. Okay. So. Well, where I am up here, I don't see that the Russians have a lot of cavalry. The Russians, they don't. There was they they really don't have any cavalry at all. Um, I think they had one like dragoon squadron or something that got destroyed early on. They in still the, have in the game. one here. They've got they some one, like, Prussians. Cavalry. Yeah, yeah. The Prussians have some. Um, a few units left, but everybody else is um, everybody else is uh, on the Austrian side over on the on the western approaches. So, All right. All right. Are we done with everything? We want to move the clock forward. We're moving now. We're oh, okay. No. I move Schwartz. We gotta get our. Okay. So Albert, you can't move the guy with a, uh, you can't move Bianchi because he was part of a move this turn. Okay. Yeah. Let's see where they hang out. Oh, this guy.
Eric, do you have a do you have a scan of the special rules for this game? Um, I can I can uh, scan you a copy. Um, some of the charts and things like that are up in the um, are up in the yeah. Uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah, I see some of them. I can't. Some of them are so small. I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit of a challenge. I like the recall and assault table. That thing is. so sad how bad my eyesight's been. That is a little bit of a bother. All right, I've, I believe I've moved all my officers. Let's see, everybody else. Albert, did you have anybody else who's moving around? No. Okay. We can move the clock up to the 12, uh, oh, 1240 oh, hold turn. On. Hold on, I do have a couple guys. Four. 11. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, all right. All right, uh, we can go ahead and I will save things and save the log file. Hopefully, it will save it to the right spot. I did a log, so I'll send it. If anybody wants it, I've got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, well, hopefully John will be able to join us next week, and we'll now we should hopefully be back on track where we can do a full turn from the beginning to the end, hopefully. Um, and, uh, and, and things should hopefully move along at a little bit more of a normal pace, in theory. I think I'll be able to make most of them for the next few weeks. Uh, the, the weekend of the July... That weekend may be a little hairy. I'm not sure. I think it depends on what's... Because that'll be the weekend we're moving to uh, South Carolina. So. Mm -hmm. Right. And we've got the 4th of July weekend coming up here. So I know the 5th of July is a holiday. Um, so I don't know if you guys are going to be around. I, I, I don't have any plans. Yeah, um, I I will but So I, I'll be available on Monday, on Monday the 5th. And then we'll have to see if the other guys are up for playing on um, July the um, July the fourth, um, but that that might not happen if people are I've got uh, activities or things like that planned. So 